Hello everyone, this is Roxana from the Office of Instructional Technology coming to you with another smart tip. Today we are going to learn how to add student names to the randomizer. This randomizer is located in the Smart Lab Activities. The best way to do it is to go ahead and open up a brand new page, go up to your gizmo, and you're going to prepare a Smart Lab activity. So the best one to do this with is to shout it out. And uh, before we finish, we want to go up to this menu and click on it for managing content. At the top right, you will see create new. We're going to go down to the bottom one that says student list, and we're going to create our list. So I'm going to put here, this is a class. Uh, let's call it smart uh, B. And then I'm going to go ahead and put some names in here. Let's put in John and Sally and uh, Rox. Okay, and I have three names there. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. It's saving my student list. And as you notice, right up here on my list, I have class smart B student list, and I have my three names on November 27th. I'm going to go ahead and say done. Uh, my shout it out, there's, I'm going to do text, three contributions, and I'm going to show the name. So that's just there. That's just a simple place to do it. Now you notice on the right hand side, you're going to see a star. We can go ahead and close these. Uh, the star here is where you're going to be able to click on it and go ahead and choose the randomizer. Notice that it says you, you can select a student name, an activity item, or a number. So I'm going to choose that one. It's now active. And now when I click on it, it's saying, oh, do you want to do numbers or students? And I'm going to say, I want to do my students. I'm going to go to Smart Class Smart B. There's my three names I typed in, and I say done. All you do now is here's the randomizer. You click smack in the middle and it's Rox. Rox gets to answer the first question or contribute to her class, whatever it is you might want her to do. You can um, dismiss the top hat randomizer or you can pick again and it will go through all the names at least one time. And notice I did three names. When I go again, it tells me all the students have been picked. So I can start again and then randomize it or I can dismiss it. Now, I want you to think outside the box because there's other ways that you can use the randomizer. I'm going to go back to my randomizer and I have a little gear here. I'm going to click on that one and I've pre-made some quote unquote student list. And if you click here, I've called it closure questions. So I can click on that one. Here are the questions I have. It'll list them for me. I can say done. And now think that you've just finished an activity or you're at the end of the period and you can click on this now and it will give you not a student name, but the questions you just put in. So I have, what three things did you learn today? You can do a question like, what did you already know? What do you think we will learn tomorrow? What are you finding difficult and so forth? And so you can have your questions ready to go. Again, what other things could you do? You could do vocabulary words, equations, formulas, verbs and adjectives, historical figures, historical events. Lots of different things can be done in the randomizer. So thank you so much for your time with me. Stay tuned soon for another smart tip. Thank you.